I've been ordering seeds all winter, uh, getting ready for spring. What I ordered though, and I'm focusing on, is like fruit, fruit trees. I want to get a bunch of trees this winter ready and sprouted little tree starts for the spring for so wherever I can put them I have neighbors who will probably put trees all up in their yard my neighbor wants an orchard possibly I'm talking them into it so I want to have like a hundred different tree starts um, I'm doing trees indoors too well like I got my peppers now but I'm gonna do citrus so lemons and oranges but what I also ordered online just now is pawpaw so there's pawpaw fruit and I got those seeds on the way uh, what other seeds well I have peach tree seeds stratifying right now in the fridge and they should crack open and start sprouting at some point and then I can get those seeds in the dirt and sprout up those trees uh, apples so gala fuji and granny smith all from the store store bought i got a bunch of those seeds i'm saving as i'm eating the apples and then i'm prepping those to sprout and then i want to be able to get those into dirt and get those as starts so just a bunch of different fruit trees and what else well so seed potato this isn't trees but I'm stocking up on seed potato from the stores like the organic seed potato well the organic potatoes the red the uh, what would it be yellow gold and russet all from like Kroger I'm getting as many as I can every trip I can just stock it up a little bit more and I'm putting them in my cold room over here in my basement it's just sectioned off with no heat so it stays around I'm uh, looking at the temperature around 46 degrees Fahrenheit is what it is right now in the winter and you know outside it's like 5 10 15 degrees outside so that's how cold it stays in my basement room there and it's dark so that's how you want to keep your seeds seed potato in particular keep them in the dark in the cold unwashed if it's from your garden but from the store just put them back and put them in the dark and hey, don't touch them wait till spring bring them out of the light into the light and then they will start sprouting their eyes and I'm going to get them in the ground then but I want to have a bunch of bulk potatoes I just ordered seeds and I started uh, started coffee so a couple coffee trees I'm gonna do those indoors I ordered those seeds from MI Gardener and two to three to four years before you'll start getting coffee beans or berries and then you gotta cook or dry them out and roast them a few years away but you know it'll be cool to have my own coffee growing and then the aroma that was on the pack a little packets they're supposed to smell so good uh, what else well fruit is a focus big focus on where I can get trees and other fruits there's a berry ground cover I ordered the seeds it's called bear bear berry bear berry and they're like little red berries that grow as a ground cover and I got them on Etsy where I got my pawpaw seeds and the there's a, a lemon well lemon seeds I also ordered they were like four bucks uh, I have lemons now. I just bought a bunch of lemons. I'm trying to get all the seeds out of them There isn't many in these lemons I bought But maybe I'll find a few more But I got seeds on the way too so and oranges so I got to continue to save seeds from my oranges I haven't I didn't find any in the first orange. I ate from the organic ones. I just bought yesterday uh, Hopefully I can find some orange seeds in those and then I uh, saved all those seeds so every fruit that I buy now everything I can I'm, I'm saving the seeds and I'm trying to germinate them all I want to get as many trees started as possible and I'm gonna seed the world in learning about apples trees seeds I saw a video this guy he was germinating his seeds so to start he picked 
away the tip of the seed like with his finger just to uh, guess is the idea is to give the seed a little bit of a head start in germination and increase its germination rate by picking away the tip of the pointy end of the seed peeling like some of the the, the outer layer back and just kind of breaking it open slightly you'll see the video if you look it up I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube for how to germinate your apple seeds and then go ahead and put them in like paper towel and soaked in, in a little baggie and leave them in there for a week or two or however long it was I don't know exactly I have to look again but I'm just gonna watch my seeds I'm gonna look at them every so often and see if they've sprouted and then get them in the dirt from there but the idea is to keep them saturated and moist after doing that little technique there to pick away and help the germination and then uh, as simple as that and you put them in the dirt and you get your apples I just wanted to mention that because it seemed like a really helpful tip to pick away the tip everything is growing really good you know I was watching Mike Adams video he just put up Mike if you're listening I like how your strawberries just pollinated themselves <laughs> or like the moths did it for you but I didn't notice any of that with mine because I don't I don't have like moths in here which is unfortunate because I would love to have moths you know funny thing about moths I noticed that moths kind of look like uh, like miniature if you just really look at them they look like miniature dragons like each there's so many different ones it was last this last season I had some moths in my house one night like a lot of them I left the door open and I was really getting in and looking at them all and they all just looked like these crazy just miniature creature dragons and it was just magical like mystical moths are beautiful it's crazy but I have to do it with the brush is what I've been doing with the with the brush just hand pollinate while moving around this this outer pollen which is, is I guess how that works and that outer pollen you just move on to the center the center area which is the the, the the female part of the flower and then the outer pollen prongs you might call them you can kind of see them there on the outside in there little black dots like speck 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 all right there and that's where you rub the pollen from and yeah everything's been growing good and I'm just harvesting as I go and companion planting like the beans here you know everywhere I can just companion plant all sorts of stuff mix and match and then like in here as you can see those lettuces down there around the uh, you know the basin here good stuff I move my lights closer too so that should I think will do better and yeah continue on these seeds so I started seeds these are bush bean Kentucky dreamer and these are red baron onion ah yes that's right I started my onions now because I heard a guy in my grow zone say that now is the time to do it because it takes a while and you want to have them ready so I'm starting onions now and then there's a second generation of this habanero pepper so I'm, I'm marking down the generations of each seed so I know how many generations in I am and this is second gen that's why I put it down on there like that second gen and it's a beautiful thing so I know that 